Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here at Windows Phone Central. Got a quick peek for you guys here at the new Xbox video and Xbox music apps that just both launched on Windows Phone 8 this morning. And you can see the video app here. I got the music app there. And that's the old one. That's the old combo Xbox music and video hub, which will coexist at least for now. In Windows Phone 8.1, expected in spring 2014, we're anticipating this guy to disappear and just these will be on the device. That will allow Microsoft to dynamically update these apps and services without having to wait for an OS refresh. Let's head to Xbox Music right now, since that seems to be the most popular. And it's actually a really nice app. Uh, go into here, you got your main playing, what's going on right now, of course you can skip. If you have a playlist, you can hit that and it'll bring up all that information. I actually do have a playlist going on. And that's actually kind of the big feature right here. You have playlists and radio. The playlist you can create dynamically on the device and it will sync up to the cloud, meaning if you have another Windows Phone or Windows 8 device, you can then bring down that playlist and it will match. It's actually really useful and probably one of the most anticipated features for this app. Uh, likewise, for radio, you can basically pick a song that you're listening to and this will create a radio station off of that, which is pretty nice. And you can see I'll go into that and you see I created one for Rise Against and same thing with here are all my artists. So these are up in the cloud. You can actually disable that if you don't want it to, but it will basically bring up all that right onto your device. You can then download it to your phone and it does see the music that's already on your device. So you can just use this as a normal app and you don't have to worry about the cloud. Now you do need an Xbox Music Pass to use this app right now and that's because of the cloud services involved. Uh, I don't know if that will change later on, but for right now you do need that. You can go through though and you can bring up an album and you're going to see it's going to allow me to stream that. In fact, it's starting to right now. And then it can also give me the option to download it if I so choose to. And so we'll pause that. Let's see if we can back out. But it, overall, the app works very well. Uh, interestingly enough, when you are playing a song, which we'll do right here, it doesn't have a live tile just yet. Although you'll see the old app live tile does still work which is kind of interesting so nothing here the new app but there you go now we have to keep in mind this is just a preview app so this is not the final release of it this is basically microsoft giving us a tease think of it as a beta missing though from it is podcast support and there's no evidence right now that podcasts are coming back we don't know what the status is of that uh that's partly because Microsoft has always had problems getting podcasts regionally available across places. But for now, you have your artists, you just go through there and it'll bring up everything. You can go by albums and songs. And when you're playing something, for instance this, you can bring up this list here, create a radio station, you have share, artist info, more in the store and add to. We can go to the store and bring up more information. Now, what I find personally really unique about this app, and it's pretty good if you have a lot of uh, Windows Phone devices and Windows 8 devices, Xbox Music only allows you to download up to four devices, and that's just the way it is. You can switch out a device every 30 days, but it's kind of annoying if you get a new phone because then you have to basically wait. Um, what I have found is that you can basically launch Xbox Music on here, sign in, download something, and it will dynamically switch your licenses. So you can have actually multiple devices. You can have like eight devices if you want to. Only four will be active though. This will actually switch between them. Uh, we don't know how often you can do that, but so far I haven't found any limitations. Let's go into Xbox Video now and take a look at that one. And you can see here, it brings up my collection. It's signed in real quickly. So these are things I've bought and already have. Uh, I am getting an error though when I try to go download something. So you can bring it up here. I can stream and I can just hit the download button and we'll see if it fixes itself. My guess is no. So I'm getting a license error. Uh, I'll have to talk to Microsoft about that. It seems to be an exception right now though. You can also share what you're watching, which is kind of cool. So you hit the little share button, brings it on Twitter and it gives you all the information, including a link to the Xbox video store for more information. That's kind of a nice touch. Uh, other than that, you can pin to your start screen so you can watch that movie. Now, we're going to actually bring this up here, and I will actually play it for you guys. Oh, 
And now I'm getting an error for that for streaming. So it looks like some error is still here with the Xbox video app and that everything is perfect. I was doing Batman before, so we'll see if that plays. And there it goes. Great scene in Batman, obviously. So the one downside to this app right now is it does not support HD streaming or HD downloads. Microsoft has publicly stated that is coming later in 2014. So that is an oversight right now, but that is something they're working on. Apparently there's some backend things that need to do first, but that will be coming to Windows Phone in the future. Over here, you have your settings, subtitles on, off, repeat, off, share. You can change the screen size if it needs to be reformatted. And then there's just general info about what you're playing at that moment. It goes back to that screen. You can, of course, rent and buy things. So you can go over here to new TV. And it's just like on Windows 8 and uh, the Xbox One. We can go through your store and pick out things. So they have Riddick here. And you can basically see buy or rent. By SD 1490 you can switch to HD which will give you that option and what's really cool if I'm playing this on my phone I can then pick it up it'll match up onto my Xbox one or Xbox 360 and I can continue playing the movie when I get home and it'll just sync up dynamically right there so overall really good app both of them are excellent additions to the Windows Phone 8 platform and like we said the Xbox Music is still a preview so we expect more changes to that in 2014. But there you go, head to Windows Phone Central for more information. Take care everybody.